So hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kunal Kumar Sahu, and today we will be building a uh, virtual piano, or let's call it an e-piano, right? So let's get started. So first of all, let us know some basics about piano. So the anatomy of a key keyboard or a piano is pretty simple. It consists of multiple octaves, and octave is a set of twelve keys which comprises seven white and five black keys. And we all know each key produces a sound at distinct frequency on pressing. And when we press multiple keys simultaneously, we produce a chord. And then naming of piano keys, let's talk about nomenclature. White keys are named as C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, whereas black keys are relatively named with respect to the position of white keys and are called either flat or sharp. So if a black key is on the right side of any white key, it is called sharp of that corresponding white key. And if it is on left, it is called flat of that corresponding white key. For example. Let's take this uh, first black key into account. So it would be called C sharp since it lies uh, to the right of C key, whereas it will also be called as D flat since it lies left to the D key, right? And throughout the uh, pro project, I would be representing only sharp keys and I would be denoting them with the help of lowercase letters, right? And again, also a disclaimer, I would be quite interchanging the words, keys and notes. So please keep that in mind as well. So now let's get some mathematical, let's understand some mathematical concepts of waves. So first of all, piano produces sound waves and these waves are generally plane progressive waves, which means they travel in a plane and are in sinusoidal or cos type in nature. So mathematically, any wave can be described as the equation y equals a sin omega t minus kx, where y is a function of t, that is time, and x is, that is displacement. Here, omega stands for angular frequency, which is 2 pi times frequency of the so sound source, and k is wave number, which is 2 pi by lambda, where uh, lambda is wavelength, right? So if for a uh, instance, if we neglect the displacement factor or the whole wave number factor, then the equation becomes y equal a sine omega t and we know omega is 2 pi times f so our equation as a function of only frequency becomes y as a function of f is equals a sine omega a sine 2 pi times frequency into t where and uh, let's keep that in mind when we talk about the physics aspect we keep frequency constant and time as a variable because we only deal with a single sound source but since here we would be dealing with multiple keys here frequency would be the variable and time would be a constant right and a is amplitude and we have discussed all about it now coming to the last topic we have equal temperament system it is an application of resonance over pianos because we all know to tune any musical instrument we need a uh, uh, we need a kind of uh, resonance we need so that at the peak value we could assign their uh, frequencies and all so here it is known as equal temperament system uh, and its equation can be determined using note frequency equals base frequency multiplied by 2 to the power n by 12 where n is the number of notes the keys away from the base key right so we would be using uh, these two equations to actually generate and calibrate a piano and then we'll pass few notes, few song notes and few chords and then remix it and do, uh, uh, mix it and produce kind of a very new pattern, right? Uh, new uh, music. So this was all about the theory portion or the fundamental concepts that we would be required to implement these stuffs. And now let's start coding. So as you can see, I am in my terminal and let's just uh, create a file known as main.py and I have a fresh new uh, file over here and first of all, since we would be working with numbers and all, so we need some uh, uh, magical python module or a very robust python module which can do all the complex uh, numerical stuffs because we won't be wasting time in solving those right and for that i would be needing imp uh, numpy so i'll import numpy as np and for all those who don't have numpy installed in the system they can install it using pip install numpy just uh, paste this command in your terminal or command prompt and uh, you uh, you must have an internet connection and you will install it within your system and for unix family replace pip with pip3 so yeah so first of all we need a sample rate so let's define a variable sample rate and it would actually define the rate of waves it is not the frequency of audio but 
it would just uh, determine number of waves per second and uh, like that and uh, this is actually in hertz but not it is it is not the audio frequency so let's assign this value as 44100 and remember this is in hertz but it is not the audio then we need a function to get actually the wave right so let's create a function to get wave with parameters frequency and duration and since we would be keeping duration as constant let's give it a pre default value 0.5 right and uh, this function will take frequency and time duration for a wave as the input and returns a numpy array of values at all points in time right so first of all we need an amplitude so amplitude uh, let's say 4096 just an arbitrary value you can play with this value and check out the options and let's create an instantaneous time interval and we can create it using a very well known function in numpy it is linear space it is known as linear spacing or lint space and it requires three parameters starting value ending value and number of intervals so our starting value would be zero ending value would be duration and number of intervals we can i guess calibrate it using sample rate multiplied by frequency and uh, in order to just make sure this is an integer we can explicitly convert into integer so this becomes sample rate multiplied by duration and uh, here we get a numpy array of all the time uh, instantaneous time points right and now we have to create create the waves for that particular time stamps right so we can use the first equation amplitude wave equals amplitude multiplied by numpy dot sign and inside sign we would be having arguments two multiplied by numpy dot pi multiplied by frequency and multiplied by time period right so this is it and let's in the end return a wave and to check if we are doing great or not let's just uh, call this function over here so let me create an entry point for the program and let's just call wave equals get wave let the frequency currently be 440 hertz and duration be one second let's just print uh, the what we say let's print the wave length of wave then we can have numpy dot maximum value of wave and uh, similarly numpy dot minimum value of wave let's separate this values with let's say slash n so yeah uh, we have done it and let's uh, execute the statement okay see as you can see here we got a huge numpy array of uh, partic particular points for wave and we have length 4000 uh, 44100 which is actually the sample rate so over one second we got uh, these many waves and the amplitude uh, positive amplitude uh, maximum value is 409.7 uh, this and this is so remember we had actually given the uh, amplitude 4096 but uh, it is uh, very close to it but not exactly because uh, exactly to the uh, equal to amplitude because we have given discrete time intervals and due to that this it would be not it would not be able to reach exact point for a particular time instant right so over here let's do some few modifications and uh, we can just plot this graph right so let's import matplotlib.pyplot as pld and those who don't have this module can install it using pip install matplotlib and uh, for unix family please replace pip with pip3 right so we have got something over here so we can just uh, be plot uh, plt dot plot we need to plot the whole wave right so let's first try to print plot the whole wave then we can 
d.x label label the axis as time and here d dot y label as disturbance and in the end PLT dot show let's run this script as well so we are getting a whole solid box of blue color but it is not exactly solid it is uh, if you can see clearly this is slightly buzzed out over here and it is slightly buzzed out from here so it means actually there are 44,100 waves and uh, these are so close to each other that they form together to be solid and we can print individual waves as well but this shows the num how many times what is the number of waves throughout this time interval over here right so let's close it and uh, let's access the wave oh, from uh, their index values so from the since it is an array we can access them using their index values but uh, accessing them is quite trickier so we need to access it uh, using their properties at itself right so we have 44100 waves so we have in one second right so we have divided our one second into 44100 parts according to the sample rate and uh, we can plot our one cycle by printing elements from zero to uh, 44,100 divided by 40 and if it is an int float value we have to explicitly convert into int right so this would be sample rate which is 44,100 divided by frequency which is 440 hertz right so let's just save it and uh, see you did and, and now as you can see here we have got uh, a wave only one single wave and uh, it looks sinusoidal in nature which means our equation is correct but as you can see here down below it is not exactly zero and the reason for this is the cycle is not fully completed in the graph and ideally this cycle completes at as per my calculations nearly about 100.227 uh, milliseconds or microseconds whatever the time interval it has to uh, un time unit it has chosen itself but since we are using discrete time intervals at 100, at 120 or 110, it is slightly off from its initial value that is 0, right? So this can be considerable and uh, uh, let's just uh, see how two waves look like. So we can just do, sorry, we can just go over here and multiply it by 2. And so we get two waves over here and we can do a whole lot of times, right? So let's clear the console. And uh, So this was uh, pretty much we generated waves. We did a lot of fun and all. And now let's Yeah, so say, now we have created waves from our program using uh, just a simple numpy value and not any third party fancy module so now we will be building our own piano in python so as mentioned earlier a piano consists of multiple octaves although every octave is physically identical it may sound a bit high pitched or low pitched with respect to the other right so if we want to create a single octave that is a set of 12 keys then we must know how each key is calibrated in relation to the other so after that we can just double or half the frequency of the all the keys and to get the next octave right so pianos are sent as i told pianos are tuned using equal temperament system we could do it so first of all uh, we need to get piano notes so let's create a function get piano notes and we don't need any parameter and this is a it would return a dictionary of object for all the piano notes frequency right so first of all we need an octave so let's create an array or list of octave so for this i would take the help of of internet i have already segregated octave names and uh, notes and uh, pod data just to save time 
so th these are our octaves let's just paste it Yeah. So these are our octaves. These are a set of 12 keys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And here small letter keys represent their corresponding sharp keys. Right? So now let's uh, create a base frequency value because we need one base frequency to calculate frequency of other keys. So let's take it to 61.63. And as per internet, this is the frequency of C4 note. So now we need the note frequencies, which would be a dictionary and dictionary's key would be Taves elements and their values would be uh, uh, base frequency multiplied by power and here the base would be 2 and power would be i by 12 and what is i so we can access for i in range of length of octave and by this we would be getting a note of every frequency but also we need a silent frequency so we can just add explicitly a silent frequency as well or a silent note so this would be and in the end we can just uh, return note frequencies right and over here we can just uh, let's import pprint to print the whole dictionary so import pprint and this is a diff it comes already in python no need to install it so pprint dot pprint let's print the get piano notes right so let's save it and so yeah we are getting a dictionary and these are arranged in their ascii formats but our uh, here relative positioning would not matter at all because we would be accessing using keys so our base frequency is 261.63 and these are calculated as per their as per the equal temperament system formula right so let's get back to the program and now we actually don't need uh, the the statement and over here let's just play our first song so for first song we need to get data of our song right or the chord the list of notes so for that we need to make a function and let's call it function def get song data and here we need a parameter music notes and this function is actually it this function will concatenate all the waves or notes right so first of all we need note frequencies which we can get using get piano notes and uh, we can get the song and the, all the frequencies we need so or the wave exactly so get it would be an array and get wave we need a wave of note frequencies every note for note in music notes dot split and this so actually we are accessing every element of the music note that we would be passing in this entry point and then for every corresponding note we would be getting the wave uh, and uh, for wave we need frequency and we are getting frequency using node frequencies dictionary and in the end uh, we can just uh, concatenate it 
so song equals numpy dot concatenate and we need to concatenate the song and in the end it will just return the song and over here we need a music note so let's just save this file go to the other file and this is the music note so So let's call um, music notes over here. Oops. Yeah. So we got the note over here. So we got the note over here and now we just need to get the data so let's say data equals get song data and we need the data or the notes so using this we have all the data and now we need to modify data a bit because the amplitude is quite low so we need to boost the amplitude or adjust the amplitude as a whole so let's call data equals data multiplied by one six three double zero let's put it in the parenthesis divided by numpy dot maximum value of data and this is just adjusting the amplitude and it's optional and uh, you guys can anyway loiter around this data and find more robust values and for time being it's fine and now we need to write it right uh, we have to write it so we need to import scipy from using which we could write it in the uh, wave file so let's call it so from scipy dot io dot wave file import right and all those who don't have scipy installed they can install it using pip install scipy and unix family replace pip with pip3 and over here we can just write the function and let's call it song dot wave file and we need the rate the second parameter would be rate so we have a rate it is sample rate and in the end we need to convert the data so data dot as type numpy dot integer 16 we are reformatting the data actually in n16 format and uh, this should work fine let's write an additional print statement song return success fully so actually all the waves that we got here are written in this song dot wave file so let's just save it and call it python main .py. So it shows song written successfully. Let's clear the console and see what do we have, do we have in our directory. So we do have a song.wave. Let's try to open it in wave song.wave. So as we can see, it is not in human readable because it, waves have been written over it and this would be used to uh, just access the song, right? So let's try to play the song. So yeah, the song seems fine and uh, we can just uh, use this song but I will do some additional touching touch up to the program. So let's get back to our main file and uh, let's create a chord as well, right? We have created a song, we can create a chord as well. 
so let's create a function that get pod data just have parameter pods and this function would be bit different from the get sound data because over the get sound data we had individual nodes separated by dash but here we would be applying multiple nodes so we have to concatenate them and accordingly do the stuff right so first of all where we were yeah so first of all let's split the chords so chords equals chords dot split we can split it from the dash and then uh, we need to have a node frequency so node frequency equals get piano data and then we can have an array of chord data let's currently give it an empty value it's an empty array so now we have to access the chords and then append the data in this array right so we can access it using for chord in chords so data would we actually since here we would be pressing multiple keys so we need to sum the wave right so let's sum it and sum would be an array and inside array we would be having get wave of note frequencies note or note in list of chords so since we split it the chord and now uh, there would be an element of three three elements in chords and now we want to access those three elements particularly so we need to again list it so that we could access them as well and this and then we have to append the data which the sum uh, we are getting the data as sum of all those three or multiple nodes we would be pressing simultaneously so we need to append this into chord data for further accessibility chord data dot append what we need to append we need to append the data and then chord data equals numpy dot on Concatenate. Uh, we need to concatenate the chord data with axis equals zero, and uh, in the end, uh, return chord data right. And uh, down in the entry point, let's create uh, chords as well. So chords equals currently an empty string which we will be filling. So this is our uh, chord. So let's just select it. Let's just put it over here. So we have chords now let's call let's get the data out of it so data equals what is get chords let chord data and we need chords as the parameter and then we need to uh, um, adjust the amplitude as well so we can do it using the same old trick data multiplied by 16300 divided by np dot maximum value of data so in order to toggle, toggle around this data you need to change these values and check the outputs and uh, we adjust the amplitude now we want to resize it because since we can see song is too long chord is too short so we have to uh, repeat it so we can just use do it using data equals numpy dot resize what we what is the target we have the target data and up to what extent we need to resize so we need a tuple over here so length of let's say data multiplied by five times shall do and since we need a tuple we need to add a comma 
and over here we have to just uh, write ports dot wav file and uh, we need sample rate in Indian data dot s type np dot int 16 and Indian int ports return successfully so basically our program here completes so let's just check what do we let's call the function first of all so we got an error over here get pm data defined okay so we were having notes and i did a mistake over here and cards are written successfully let's check what do we have we have cards.wave over here then we have song.wave over here we had listened to song.wave now we need to listen cards.wave let's just listen to it So as you can uh, listen it was just uh, looping over of a particular note and now what we can do we can just mix this song.wave and course.wave and i guess there might exist a script for python but since the video would be too long i would rather do it manually list we have a final music.mp4 over here and uh, we can just play it so we will see final music.mp4 So yeah, that was all about it and